That's so cool. In front of us, we have a genius automatic hair curler. This one is from Con Air and this is their Curl Secret. Just got it today in the PR and I'm excited to play with it. Let's try it out together. So this Con Air Curl Secret retails for $99.99 right under the $100 price point. Again, this is an automatic hair curler where there's no clip involved. You just have this little chamber where you slide your hair in and then you press the start button and it rotates the hair around the chamber. And it's supposed to time everything for you so you don't have to really think about it. So it has quite a bit of options with vers for your versatility. It has five different heat setting temperatures from 300 up to 410 degrees Fahrenheit. You can also choose the direction of your curl, left or right, or an alternating curl, which will change the direction for you while you're curling or styling your hair so you don't have to press the button then you can also change the desired curl type, defined, loose, or wavy. So in the pamphlet, they do give you customized curls, like options for your heat setting and for the style that you want. I kind of want to go between beachy waves and soft natural curls. You can also do glam curls, classic curls, and then ultra defined curls. And what I'm seeing the difference here is the temperature setting, the more defined or the tighter the curl that you want, the higher the temperature setting. And I'm going to assume the different curl types it's the timer that's either going to be less time or more time, you know, more time, defined curls, less time, loose waves. I'm gonna have it set at 355 degrees Fahrenheit. And let's start first with, you know what? Let's start with the tightest or the defined curl. And I like how they show the little ringlets on here as well. I think that's really cool. There's also a tiny little star or an asterisk. It says to go below the symbol to slide your hair below it, so. Let's do that. There you go. Ooh, okay. You're timing it? Okay, there it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that is the defined curl, the ultra defined curl. There we go. With the wrapping, 11 seconds. Let's go down to the loose or the second curl option, not as defined. I will say that is really pretty. All right, let's slide it in all the way down. Let's start. Eight seconds? Yep, eight seconds. I'm gonna assume the loose option is going to be six seconds, okay? Is it alternating? Yes, it is. Oh, my hair gets stuck. Take it out. Okay, let's redo that. You know what? I'm just go. I'm gonna go lower. How many seconds was that? Five. Five seconds. Okay. So now let's take this section. I'm gonna go up from up here. Five? Yeah, with the wrapping. With the wrapping, so it's like four, four seconds. All right, so I'm gonna stick with, we'll do the loose waves at 355 degrees Fahrenheit with smaller sections of hair. Let's see, it's like, even the way you place it into the chamber obviously is gonna matter, but I feel like I'm placing it good. Obviously not. <laughs> I do like that I can see through the chamber. Yeah. But my mirror is kind of far away and it's not as hot, so I can place it on my lap. That's so cool. So we're gonna time how long it takes to curl my entire head of hair. Nope, nope, nope. I was feeling so confident. All right, 
is what the curls look like before I comb them out. I'm going to comb them out because I want more of a loose vibe instead of a defined vibe, which is still giving me. Let me recurl this. This is the one that I did towards my face and then recurled it. So let me just quickly recurl that. A little better. I'm not sure what the back looks like, but hopefully we got something. Okay, so as you can see, the curls have dropped, the ones at the very bottom, but that's fine. We're gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna brush them out and my hair has cooled off, so I'm just gonna take a wide tooth comb and just gently just brush out my waves, these curls. Ooh, some pieces are a little knotted <laughs> from the tangle mess that I happened. Uh, that is brushing out very nice. Oh, wow. Look at that after. So much definition. And then this is the before. All right, so pros and cons. Pros, results are beautiful in my opinion. This is not a loose wave. It will become a loose wave as the day goes on. I think it was, as a whole, it was pretty easy, but I wouldn't call this a foolproof automatic curling iron. It took a little over 25 minutes to accomplish just because I had to take small sections and I felt like they were getting smaller and smaller just because I was having a difficult time making sure it was going through the chamber where it's supposed to go through the slot and then through the chamber to not get tangled. <laughs> Had quite a bit of tangles over here. But when I got it perfectly into the slot and into the chamber, that curl came out flawlessly, very consistent and beautiful. A regular curling iron, it takes me less than 10 minutes. Usually it's around the five to seven minute mark because I can take really wide and thicker sections in comparison to this automatic curling iron. So drawbacks, it's a lot more time, but the results are stunning. And of course, we're gonna do a wear test. We're gonna see what the hair looks like at the end of the day. So we'll see about longevity. The second pro, I really like the options. Let's say you want really tight curls, you click on that tight curl option, you click on your directions, you click on your temp, and it just does it for you. And honestly, these buttons that are right here for your options, I didn't press them once accidentally when I was styling my hair. So I wasn't worried that it was going to change the direction or change the temp temperature setting. So that was a comfort in the back of my mind. The next pro, all of this right here, this chamber. I like that I could have, I could keep it on my lap without burning myself. Yes, it does get pretty warm, so don't like hold it. Uh, but I do like that it's clear and you can see your hair going through it. And of course, the little directions telling you exactly where you have to place the chamber, like closer to your head, away from your head. Also this removable chamber, so you can take this off and clean the barrel if there's any like buildup from your hair to hair products. So every little detail, I really appreciate. This Conair, the Curl Secret, it does have every single option okay. that most other automatic hair curlers provide. The timer, the direction of the curl, uh, the press button, the chamber, but this I think kind of takes it a step further and they make it a little more personal to you, like showing the type of curl, you know, the direction, I, I like it. But that versatility for the types of curls, it's the exact same as choosing on other hair curlers, automatic hair curlers, time stamps. So most of them offer 10, eight, and six seconds. So if you go for six, you're gonna get more of a loose wave. If you go to 10 seconds, you're gonna get more of a defined ringlet. So I think just showing the type of a curl you're gonna get makes it a little more of a personal touch. That's why I'm liking this a little more. So negatives, you guys saw. <laughs> You can get tangled pretty fast <laughs> if you don't place your hair perfectly and very precise, precisely into the slot first and then the rest of the hair below the little star or the asterisk. When you first get it, there is going to be a lot of practice and I, I would recommend to practice with it not heated, just cold. Just take sections of hair and see which amount or how much hair fits perfectly into that little slot and down the chamber so that way you don't get tangles. <laughs> like I did. <laughs> Another reason why I like this automatic curling iron more than the other automatic curling irons is how close this little twister. <laughs> They're sitting close enough to the barrel with a little bit of space and they hold the hair there perfectly, not too tight and not too loose 
to get the most consistent results as you guys see because some hair automatic curlers they sit so far away that your hair is so loose even on the highest temperature setting with the highest amount of time like 10 seconds the hair comes out and it's still loose. You're like, what happened here? But <laughs> as you guys saw, the problem is your hair can get tangled pretty fast <laughs> if you don't have the hair perfectly placed within the chamber. So it's good and it's bad. Practice makes perfect. There you go. All right, you guys, we'll see how good this Conair secret curler or this automatic curler is with the results at the end of the day. 10 hours later, and this is what the hair looks like after using the Conair Curl Secret Automatic Curler. 10 hours later. I think it's phenomenal. We lost a lot of the curl, a lot of the definition on the very first section or the lowest section, but look at all of that definition. Because I lose most of my definition, like right here, because it's, you know, closest to my neck, you know, closest to, we're off of my body heat. I would just do it on a higher temp. Maybe hold it for a little bit longer just because I find that these lower sections, they lose their definition the fastest. I think the results speak for themselves. So this automatic hair curler, yes, there are a few issues that you have to basically overcome the more you practice with it, the more you use the automatic hair curler. I think it will get easier with time and I'll just become a lot more familiar and more comfortable with it. But all in all, it is a easier hair tool. It kind of does most of the job for you. And I think the results are pretty good for what an automatic hair curler can do and can achieve. But if you're looking for these types of, of a, this type of a wave or a curl, I think it does a great job. And the results, I'm impressed that we still have so much definition at the end of the day. Good morning. I didn't think I was gonna do an update the next morning, but you know what? I figured I might as well show you what the hair looks like. I slept with it down. I do sleep on a silk pillowcase, so that probably helps, but I haven't even brushed it out this morning. So we're gonna do it together. I think for the most part, it looks really good still, especially at the top and most of my hair. I would just fix the bottom pieces just very quickly on lower heat just to kind of make sure everything is a little more consistent. But I mean, look at that. That still looks so good. Wow. Mama. Yeah. All right. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.